Welcome back to Inwood Fishing, everybody. So yesterday I was fishing for bullhead and a cold front was barreling down on me. The wind was absolutely cranking. It got really cold towards the end of that session. So it's left us with a chilly day today and the wind is still up. So I've come down to this beaver pond here that has an old train trestle going through it. Why did I come down here? Well, because it's a little bit out of the wind. You hear that right there? It's just a little bit out of the wind. It's kind of windy here. We got lake wind advisories everywhere today. It's sustaining winds up, up to 18, gusting over that. There's something I want to do down here. Now I've caught mudfish here before under the float and I've been told there's catfish. So what we're going to do here today is put two lines with cut bait on the bottom real close to this trestle and see what we can get today. I have no idea what kind of catfish are here. I know there's gar, I know there's mudfish, so two possibilities that are known, but what's the unknown? Let's see. Got our bait right here, bunch of panfish. I got one, yeah, that's kind of already cut up. Let's see, let's get that out. We'll use that first. Two lines today, like I said, they're similar and they're different. Now this one, it has a five-aught circle hook, and we're going to put this bigger piece on there. Just like that. The other one, like I said, it is similar. You see, both have two ounces of lead on sinker slides. They're both 30-pound test mainline. This one has a 30-pound test leader down to a four-aught octopus hook. The other one is a liter of 50 pound test. You can see the structure right here in front of us. We do not want to throw real close to it. So we're going to run two lines. One of the lines has to go out here at an angle. Now I've put stuff on the bottom here before in the past and I know it's not snaggy. Well, I never hit a snag out that way, but you can snag that if you throw right into it. The next line, well, let's just get to it. Let's put this one out first. Beautiful. So it is now 428 and sunset is at 732. We might get out of the 50s today, but probably not. Now it's time to play the waiting game. Ugh. Speaking of waiting game, because we had a cold front last night, it could be a long waiting game and I'm gonna get bored, so I need something to do. In other states, I could have a third rod, but we're not in other states. In this state, we can only fish two rods at once. So, I'm gonna clean this knife. Look at this handy towel. My dad made a bunch of these for me. I can't bring myself to wear it though, but I do bring them along to clean stuff. And, like my hands and my knife. While I sit around and play the waiting game, I wanted to talk about why I cast out here so far. One of the biggest reasons is because, see this right here? Somebody was out here drinking. Let's get this out of here. Look at all this vegetation here. It goes for a while. You can't see it after a few feet, but it goes for a while. So I wanted to clear that. I did not want to put the baits into heavy vegetation, and there is quite a bit in this pond and it's deeper out that way there's a bit of a channel that runs through here we wanted to get out in it and i think we're in it there's a garbage can on the way out we'll drop that there what do you like to do to kill the time during the waiting game on days like this across the way from us is the lodge or at least one of them you see it right here that's the beaver lodge when i'm on a long wait i like to talk and because there's no one around here to talk to, instead of sitting out here looking crazy, talking to myself, I'll talk to you. Now this particular pond is really, really old. This train trestle that's running through here, definitely in the back end of the 1800s is when this train line that runs through here was abandoned. So that means this pond has been here for quite some time. And this is the slough that comes into it. So that means we're not just relying on fish that are born in the pond. Fish can come into the pond from anywhere, especially during high water events that get into the pond. And we just had one, a bit of one the other day. We had some rain and there's some water coming through here. 
let's walk over to where it's rolling out of here. Before we do a, a walk away thing here, let's ba bang open the bales. Ba bang. Yeah, I think today is going to be a fairly slow session. We'll probably get something. It did get down into the low 40s last night. It was a lot warmer previously. So, big shock to the system out here. Turtle. And here it is. This is where it comes out. Yeah, you're right. Is it cold? Yeah, it's kind of cold. Kind of cold. So there's no way to be certain just how old this actual pond is, but I'm 100% sure that there's been water here for 100 years or more. So, it could be anything here. Not Aqua Bigfoot. I'm pretty sure of that. But anything else. I'll do that again. Did you guys see that? That is the 5 watt circle hook that he's messing with. Because it's a circle hook is why I'm not overreacting, running to the rod to try to set it because I'll just snatch it from him. So we just got to let him have it. I think he's still there. I'm going to watch this for a while. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's slight tap tap on the line. When I get bites like that, and then, you know, just a little tug tug and then nothing for a while. About five minutes after that, I want to reel it in. Just make sure I still have bait. But I think he's still messing around with it. Just going to have to let him have it. Brought up the first line that was getting hit. No bait on it. Okay. That's more serious. Oh, but no my goodness oh is it because i'm sick of the waiting game or what i overreacted there oh i thought he was on but he was just not still watching these bites they're not serious yet this one's giving me another slack line he might have my bait in his mouth this one Okay, we're hooked up. Nope, that was a gar. We still have a bike going on the other one. Let's get this in and see what's up with the bait. Or maybe we'll just leave this out. Guy gave me another slack line. We got something here. Oh. Finally. Hey, I did this yesterday. Yesterday was supposed to be a bullhead day. Ha <laughs> ha, this is a different species of bullhead, bigger. Totally makes sense that there would be bullhead in here. This is a lot bigger than what I was getting yesterday. That's maybe what was messing with me a little bit through this session, but definitely gar were hitting my baits as well. There you go. 428 to six o'clock is the waiting game I just played for a mud cat. <laughs> we, we are still getting bites. They might be from mud cats, but also gar, I think. We're getting really close to sunset. Well, it's an hour and a half away, but it's gonna slip by really fast, man. Like sand through my hands. It's gonna just go. Maybe, oh, maybe more will come of this. Something just gave me a slack line on that. Oh! I'm 
trying to see if he's here. He, I feel him. There we go. We got something. It feels a little, a little better than the. Oh. Wait a minute. You know what's better than one mud cat? Two mud cats. Yeah, you're right. Well, this one is a little longer. Not so muddy looking. Yeah, you're right. I'm not sure if we're on track for another bullhead smackdown. But, fish or fish, it's better than getting skunked. There you go, buddy. Woo! We are changing things up in an attempt to get something else in this video other than a mud cat. Might be able to get a mudfish from right over here underneath the float. Hopefully I didn't just do that for no reason. We're getting a bite here. We also have a float a little bit over there. I can still see the float. It's not moving. Just put this back out with fresh bait. It's the five aught circle hook. This could be a bullhead messing with us. I want it to be something else. Well, he's still with me. I'm trying to reel up to see if I feel him. Bullhead Mudcat bullhead, anyway, are famous for swimming in on you. I think I have something. Yeah, I have. I have something here. Finally, it's fighting a. Oh, if that's a mudcat, that is king of the pond right there. Oh, hey. Oh, yes, yes. People have been asking me about this. We finally did it. We finally did it. How's the float doing? Oh, the big mudfish just broke the water over there. Could have been a gar. But look at this, people. Look at this. Finally, finally, water colored up. Water colored up. Look at the colors here. Wow, this one is awesome. So this is a mudfish. This is a bowfin shoe pick. Look at the color of the fins. They get these wonderful, beautiful green colors or blue sometimes when they start to spawn. That is awesome. Yeah, you're right. I'm really happy we got this one. This is about maybe a three pound fish. Going the wrong way, son. Woo! Just got this back out here. I'm trying to fire something off onto the gram and I'm getting a bite already. I'm watching the float too, and I'm keeping my eyes peeled. My head is on a swivel right now because we're at that time of day where these giant feral hogs want to creep in here like they're... All right, whatever was biting us just gave us a little slack line. The net has been thrown down. Now we're going to reel up this slack line and see what we feel. We're getting really close to sunset. We're like almost on top of it. I don't know if there's anything with me. Oh, he's still with me. Look at that. He's tap, tap, tapping. He just ain't ready to get serious. He's giving me a slack line again. Could be a mudcat. Mudcat do that all the time. Hit you and then come in on you. We got him. 
No, we don't. Dang it. No bait either. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, there's still time. There's still bait. Let's get it back out there. Hadn't been out five minutes. I'm slowly reeling him in. He hadn't pulled back yet. He's not fighting me. But he is he is with me. I can feel him tap tap. A little more serious now. Stay on, buddy, whatever you are. You ain't big either, are you? Well, you're big for that species. A bit. Nice. Three bullheads is better than two. Yeah, you're right. Not the biggest one we've got today, is it? Not sure, but you can go home we're we're in a position here that we don't like to be in so we got to open this bale though we're getting a bite we need to pick up the net and rush our butt over here because we're missing something <laughs> we're missing something important over here don't know where it went i'm happy that we're missing it oh Did you go up into the neighborhood there? Oh, yes, people. I don't know if he's covered in weed or if he's got shoulders, but he feels kind of, oh, oh, did you see the watercolor on him? My goodness. Yeah, we're, we're bringing in a bowl of salad here with this fish. Hopefully he stays on. Sometimes you end up losing fish coming through this kind of stuff, but. There we go, people. Look at the watercolor fin on him. Oh, we got a spot here. Let's show it off. Come on. I've never, never seen that. They're, they're a fairly no. primitive fish. They haven't really evolved wow, look at that. Look several. At the fins on it. Yeah, look at this, people. Spot, See the yeah, spot? spot? See the fins? Uh -huh. They get all fired up like that all watercolory yeah. when they're spawning uh -huh. this time of year. Yeah. This is my second one. The first one was maybe three pounds. He's maybe two and a half. He's uh -huh. not, not as big as the first one. Yeah. But better than what I was hitting when I first started. It's yeah. just been nothing but mud cats. Yeah. yeah, you're right. But I got a bite on the second one, so we got to uh, yeah, sure. send him packing here. There. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. That's what I do for a life. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's get number two back out there and add it. There, he kicked right in. Good. Before number two hit, this was getting a bite. So we opened the bale, and now we're going to reel up and see... Oh, I don't know if this is a fish or or what. 
feels like the bottom, but let's, is it gonna move? Oh, maybe it's some, a fish took me up into something. Oh, something just pulled back. Yeah, there's something here. Here it is. Whoa, I felt, I thought I was snagged. I don't have the net with me either. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna need it. Whoa. A little bit of fight right here at the edge. Oh my goodness, we caught the king of the beaver pond here. Look at the size of that sucker. Look at the size of him. My goodness, that is fat. That is a fat hoss, that's a hog right there. We're running out of light here. That's well over a pound. We're gonna go ahead and just let him go. Whoa, kick right in there. Yeah, you're right. We are just about done with the sunset. So that means we are done here because this place closes at sunset. I can still get out, but I gotta get it together right now and go. This was a decent session in the end. In the end, it was a decent session. It was a long waiting game, but I'm pleased with the results. Now I got to get out of here. So like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.